The developers of Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game just released a live stream highlighting both sides of gameplay from the Killer Clowns and also the humans and how they survive in the gameplay. So I am very interested to see what is here and discovering what's an offer. So let's react to the gameplay today. Let's start off with the human gameplay right now. For the human side, and we can see this little interaction here, of the clowns oh, yeah, entering. The boat that you guys saw, the portal machine that you guys saw. Uh, it's all about escapes, somewhere isn't it? around the map on the outskirts and within the map, uh, you know, closer towards the, well, not on the outskirts is the bunker okay so there's bunker bridge port machine what it was that car I saw uh there's a bridge somewhere around the map uh but yeah there's the boat that you guys saw the portal machine yeah boat saw. Portal machine uh, okay bridge somewhere around bridge. the bridge on the outskirts and within the map actually the bridge uh, you know closer towards the well actually the bridge was the last extract in the kill clowns gameplay not on the outskirts is the bunker the bunker we haven't seen. Okay. And uh, the trenzy is that fifth and final So gameplay is third person as well, which I do like you, having third person uh, gameplay in any game. It's always uh, so a lot of fun. Human, our job is to kind of loot and uh, find survival tools and escape tools. Okay, yeah, survival so they, tools, escape tools. Humans... Picked up a brick. I'm guessing this is sound indicators. You can throw and aim it. Nice. There's a flashlight system on the bottom right as well. And I'm guessing the top is extracts available. I think that might be it. Except the invasion, there's four extracts. The boat, the bridge, the bunker, and the portal. So there's four escapes on this map. I'm hoping there's more than one map, though. The, if there's only one map, it's going to be kind of devastating. I'm hoping there's more than one map. And I have a feeling there is maybe three or four, but I'm hoping for like six to possibly eight if we're lucky. So it allows for more fun moments to occur on different maps. Truly very unequipped for a clown. In All different type of builds to work. You are caught in the middle of this thing, and the, the biggest part that we wanted to come through here... The character models look good, too. The, I don't mind them. Um, the parts of the movie. But that Friday 13 like, vibe. You know, you... you want to fight back and we felt it was extremely important to allow the humans to fight back because you can carry up to four items but one of those items can be a hit item because there is it. just this this element of immersion where you just like this is what you would want to do in a clown invasion you'd want to pick things up to to hit the clowns with you'd want to pick up things to throw at the clowns there's also a look behind you button so you can run away and look behind you at the same time so like combat very nice a feature focus and a big part of that is first finding the weapons so Humans start off very vulnerable, and it's important to stay low and and quiet. You'll notice at the the base of, of Albert's screen, you see that that waveform bar. That's when you're generating those noise pings. And as you do, oh, things, okay, like shoot weapons or, or fail QTs and do stuff. The the you uh, can hide in bins. So the, the lackey that was at one of the bins earlier in the Kill Clowns gameplay was someone detect a lackey detecting a plane in a bit. Waveform gets very big and represents, you can sprint a little Albert just to kind yeah. of show that at like full blast. That kind of represents, drop the can. I do like that there's a feature like this. So instead of mounting up in Prince Hunters now you have a sound indicator, which you can tell if you're actually producing or not, depending on what you're doing in those moments. But obviously you don't have to use that visual indicator. You will know just by how you're moving after a while. First. Up what print out up okay, oh, what yeah, produces sound or not there you go there you go see yeah so if you're full sprinting that's when you're making the most noise that's extending and being seen at the farthest distance so it's very much about you want to manage where you're now i'm wondering if this blue color slash yellow to red is all based on certain distances say if the blue color if they're right next to me they can't see anything but if i'm in yellow and they're within five minutes of me they can see it but if they're 10 minutes they can't see it but if it's red they can obviously see it at 15 meters or something that could be a case here with the sound indicators how you're generating noise especially early in the game when you don't have much stuff so i play as an axe we've too. obviously been picking up a lot uh these guys have some escape objects looks like we've got enough for the portal but let's go we can go check out the portal since yes, is the blue uh, items the portal meeting point the spark plugs so oh yeah uh, spawn in with a little hey everybody meet up here and while you're here uh you can it actually shows you the way to where all these oh are wow now, okay the room. this gives the chance for human players to know where things are exactly but it also gives the chance for killer clowns to know where human players will be and pretty much protect the zone those go away so uh, that could be a good idea there is an item that you can find around the map called the compass that does the same thing when you left click it or you know use right trigger depending on what uh or r2 depending on what platform survival you're items uh, i like you that will be able to see i don't mind it the exits are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, what was that sound um, effect? Is that real life or? Oh, oh they see hiding. Fly. Told you, I knew it. Uh, Just gonna hang on with flies for a second. <laughs> where? Let me go back in there. I'm gonna see. They're just hugging one corner of the map. Move, move, move. I think we're just gonna go towards the shore. Oh, you wanna go check out the boat? So, like we've talked about, and it's been we, we've gone over. Yeah, there was a jukebox on the right on the bench that hasn't been activated. 
So one of the players have to activate that as a way to create the distraction for the clouds to heal. For the exits before the escapes, like there's there's four of them. They all require different things each time. Mm -hmm. uh, not each time. Sorry. They all. This feels like a mechanic from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I know they use certain mechanics of extractions or types of extractions from the other games, like the kind of reminiscent, like the boat from maybe Friday the Thirteenth, the like car extraction, like is a chopper extraction from Prey to Hunt Grounds, and maybe some stuff from Ghostbusters. But that feels like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre inspired thing where there was multiple extractions, multiple ways to escape, have fun and escape at your own choice. You know, you don't have to all go the same way, like in Dead by Daylight. So I think they got heavily inspired by that, which is a good thing, while keeping everything else the same. They all require as they vibe. different things depending on what the escape specifically is. So it really is an interesting dynamic as you're looting to be finding different things that then. It's being things. innovative so find with the, the design. Early, it's kind of icy. And mm -hmm. then you end up going looking for the stuff for the boat and but only two items the bunker key card and then it's you know at that point it's a different game like you want to now you're closer to a different exit that you didn't plan on taking that's so the actual skill check system different okay, one or twice player that that we really feel lots of twice oh, early albert uh luckily i have an axe which i'm gonna is do my best here more powerful. so what opportunity does the clowns have here in these moments because obviously this seems very easy for the humans as well to escape i thought clown gameplay was easy but Seems like it's both the same. They're both kind of easy to play. It just depends how you are uh, executing it. So this seems kind of easy to execute without too much risk involved. Just play slow, pick up the items you need, get to the extraction that you want with your calculated items. And you can have multiple items on you so you can collect both key items to make the extraction work. And then spend the time there, which is around looking around like 15 seconds to complete in order to escape. Well, you think you can do this? Or at least filling up these parts. You think you can do this? What are you going to do? That's even clowns don't interfere. Oh, but I know your reach. Ah! Oh shit! Get him. Get him. Oh shit! Okay. 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 Done. okay. Now, for I see. I see. The tutorial, we're not gonna That's cool. <laughs> right away. I like that feature. That's that a great is, feature. Oh, Get that back off. To do it. So was it too back hard to off. actually kill? So, so the clowns you, get you too can, close. Uh, it could be very hard for them to actually survive. Uh, but you need a sharp object to actually. Pop that okay. Oh my god, dude. I'm getting out. So the clown that disappeared through the green portal. I think that one actually died. The other one that just got knocked down there isn't dead. It's just knocked down until someone revives it, or it will automatically revive so, uh, without dying. Another like, thing you'll scene. notice that's pretty important to this too is the the weapons are there's durability associated with everything. Uh, not every yeah, weapon, I see, I see. The weapons, anything that's powerful and gives you that chance, there is a uh, anything's busted. Th there is that's that what they're talking about. Like you can go up against clowns with an axe, like I have, which is that's like the weirdest said, route. Just like stick it goes up and down that does absolutely that nothing. With, except just soul time. Sure. Yeah, which is still good, but it does only have so many. There's no way you hide you things, like this. So you gotta and be it works. Really careful about how you're what? judging those encounters and like when you wanna. These clowns have lost track. Stuff. What they're doing? Um, and each clown does. Oh, he's getting beat up there. Okay, he's dead. Uh, with the clown types, different clowns have different. Wait, what happened uh, there? Oh, that's how the execution looks. Look at all the blood. Like the, well, the clown they, fatality. They have different health amounts. So lackeys close by. Depending on who it is, like shorties. You can actually kill the lackeys. I uh, wonder if that makes a respawn. Uh, but very quick and nimble. So you gotta be. You gotta, you gotta depend on depending on what you're encountering and who you're facing. You do need to change your game's gameplay style to kind of. I'm loving the chaos behind every moment. So if you're running around like this and you have your other three, uh, three friends or the rest of the human players trying to defend or fly back in some way, and you're running around freely, it's kind of hilarious. So I like that. To what those clowns are going to be facing off against you with. Uh, yep. including their weapons okay uh, sure. it's, it's like you kind of chill yeah. relax and then everyone else uh, is just like dying you, but these clowns are these clowns are on my uh, tail dude i don't think he's oh, on okay. his tail he's like oh, literally well, on their I tail my axe or are you gonna save me i would that guy's gone me, dude i think there's all three of them oh jeez Oh, the lackey jumps onto you. Press AD to actually get rid of it. Got jump scared by a lackey. What well, that reminds you of? What's that character? And, uh, the twins yeah, from Dead by Daylight? By like that, it does the little guy that jumps. Clown, so it's the exact yeah, same type of vibe. I'm gonna have some friends here soon. There's another escape tool. Wow, there's a lot of items in this nice. game. Glad I got this. Yeah, I did say this is more sandbox-like for an asymmetrical uh, uh, killer game. And it seems like that may be the case because there's so many items to choose from at any moment, which creates those opportunities for anything to occur. Which is fun and maybe too easy, depending on what happens. To defend myself with, um, like I said, you know, there's escape tools and certain survival ones. Like, like you obviously want the escape tools to get out as human, but you also want, uh, you know, firepower. Uh, whether that be the troll, the troll, that's it. Of fire that's all we do. Want objects just to. If I get firepower weapons or firearms in any way possible and have a knife with me or anything to shank the killers, I will do it. It's just in my blood to do so and troll them as much as possible. 
So yeah, human gameplay looks pretty good right now. Defend yourself from these, from these lackeys and these clowns. Are you gonna save me, or should I? I'm coming. I'm coming. Shh, don't tell, me, dude. I don't think they're he's listening. nearby. Oh, <laughs> they're oh listening. God, oh, this proxy chat. I love that. He's gonna... What the hell is Watch that? Out. Oh Albert. my god, dude. <laughs> that was the most weirdest okay. interaction ever. Oh, boink on the head. Okay. Escaped. Turn it back on him. Boinked again. I don't have nothing oh, one but more, a one popsicle. More. I'm gonna throw He's the running popsicle away. at him. Oh wait, I've got energy drink. I'll throw at him too. <laughs> but does that work? <laughs> what if that him. actually works? Get him, get him. Okay. I think it up. will work. Back here, we'll do a bit of damage. I really oh, don't have my any god. other way to help. If you nice, get him down. Down. no, I don't have any sharp objects. Okay, let's get out of here then. Him. Oh my god, he's already getting back up. Yeah, they don't even tell you what happens like over there. Like that, you depart, leave them behind. What happens? Pizza box. No, no, I didn't order it. I didn't order pizza. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Okay, I get that reference. What do we have? I like that one. The, the, the gated? Like the bridge? I do have a bridge key. I don't have anything. That's cool, Billsy. I actually like that. The jump skiff actually would be so break, good. I have a bat anyway. I wish I wouldn't have Jordan, I think I might be done done for here, dude. Oh shit! Oh my goodness. You might help. Beat him up one, two. Uh, I think I'm just dead. Yep, I'm dead. Damn. Okay. Well, in that case, you will be able to show off uh, one of our fun features the Hand <laughs> of Fate mini games. This is gonna, yeah. So so I wanted to know what happens in those moments for to actually get a clown tality. What happens? Do you have to down them twice or say cocoon them twice? And then from there, you're able to get a clown tality because you can't get the clown tality instantly from the first uh, minute of the game because it doesn't happen. Or at least we didn't see it happen in the first minute. But in the first five minutes, it's possible to do so on one of the players, but not on all players. So I wonder if it's one or two downs in order for that to, uh, event to actually activate. So, or is that just a choice always to have? If you did have that choice always, why would you not kill him straight away? You know, it the would make everything much scenario. more easier. So what happens in this game? I think we kind You've of been killed it in the last one, okay. but I'll give a little bit more of a breakdown. Is the clowns respawn? You can kill the clowns, and right now there's a 45 second timer that they sit. The hand of come fate. Back, so and powerful cards to affect the outcome. So they will continue to stream into the match uh, as they die. The Hot shot, halt to charge shot, release to shoot ball. Humans do not. But there is the resurrection machine in the map. Um, so what's going to happen now is Albert is going to be gifting me the best items, hopefully. I'm keeping and then right. He's playing mini games of some sort. Might consider bringing him back into the fold. What do you mean? Might resurrection. consider. Might consider. I might consider it. Or I'll just escape. Wait a second. Amber has the key. You play a baseball. Yeah, oh, okay. So it gives the item that's guaranteed to the player. Gas can I'm back there. That baseball. So yeah, supportive aspect. Baseball. You're not getting my baseball. Uh, There's more than one mini game, so you give okay, multiple items yeah. to teammates. Oh, hold on. Well, after let me know when you're done with that, and I'll bring you back because I'm I'm close. Okay. To the this, game. Game. this one is hard. So the resurrection machine for the humans, it only works once in the match. So you have to learn when to, you have to choose when to use it to have the most effectiveness. Um, and then after that, it is and it only brings back dead people. If you've Here escaped, you you're you're oh, not nice coming model. back. You've escaped the location. Thank you. So that is, a, is that the resurrection machine there for the humans as well? Or just for the kill clowns? Uh, yeah, this, uh, this Hand of Fate minigame is a, is a pretty crazy way to, like... It's a, it's a way for... The if you have ATHG and you don't want to quit a lobby, this is the mechanic you play while waiting for your friends to actually enjoy the game. <laughs> That's the mechanic I've created here. I don't know what it's doing at the moment, except keeping my attention to the mini game instead of the actual game itself. Completely out of the game. Because all the sounds and shit like popping off. numbers are dwindling. And it's a, it's a really <laughs> cool way to... Um, to what? Almost like you still have agency and influence over the game after you've escaped or, uh, or died. But the HC's being kind just of like give me a knife. Iffy. Wait, what? Okay, so yeah, one thing that Albert's doing right now about the mini games is depending how good to the items you can get actually from that, or you can keep, keep, keep it in your own inventory for when you come back. So as Interesting. I bring him back into play by using the resurrection machine, Albert now has the items that he had. Kept from selfishly. So how many revived? So there was seven. Did it just revive four players? That resurrection machine? All four players got res resed up. So now in total, seven players up. As so it's I like a resurrection machine from Prey Times Grounds, the reinforcement system that you have in that game. Bring him exact back into play by using the resurrection machine. Yeah, it went up to seven. Albert That's insane. Has the items that he had kept from the Wait, so they get boosted items... Which makes it easier for them to fight back. Also, there's a bit of time wasted between those interactions, but they come back stronger, possibly. So it just depends how long they spend in that game of fate 
or fate of cars area selfishly yeah selfishly Dude, you already had a baseball bat i'm not gonna selfishly. give you two how okay hear it. all right bro um We've been seeing a lot about this uh, this question about choosing your team. Uh, we'll be using a ooh, hoo, 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 uh, a preference system, Jordan. If you wanted to, I guess choosing a team self-explanatory. But if you want to give it a quick, yeah. oh, how you actually get into which uh, team you're playing, um, like the the killers we'll or like the, the match humans stuff, and then yeah, matchmaking. Is, What's matchmaking? Um, Gonna hear that preference base, but the let's see where's preference the... base. So like oh, great times grounds. It has to be exactly oh, like Prairie Tantra Grounds. destroyed that lackey and you didn't get to see Which I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'll try and make um, my way over to where I think you are. I'm I'm coming back to you. Oh, this isn't you. Sorry, I saw there was an A I'm on over the, map. the But yeah, uh, for, yeah, yeah, for matchmaking I mean, and queuing, we'll have a, a, a preference-based system. So you'll set your preference of what you want to be, but you're not always 100% guaranteed it just for the sake of, you know, match time. Okay. Yeah. Matchmaking, queuing, So there is a... Certain situation where you can choose whatever you want to be, but it's not guaranteed, which means you just get matches to actually start much quicker than they usually do. But there's a great chance they may be that or the other thing, or the matches will be more priority based on just getting to a match. But mm -hmm. um, whatever category you're in, it just depends you have, on the random luck. Uh, as far as like different lobbies and things, we do have bots, uh, human bots that will. That oh will no, play human bots! I hate it. Moving along. Oh, I hate it. That that have like if someone rage quits and they become a bot, I can understand. I hate playing with bots. In these type of games but i know for longevity if any player want to play this game in say five years from its release you can still play it and there will be bots to play with so that is good for longevity but when the game is going crazy on release and everyone's having fun with it i hate having bots in lobbies it's just so annoying oh, extra oh wow sorry i just found a shock unless that from plays that rage quit healing uh, i'm getting out of here this is, it's getting kind of crazy here with all these lackeys spawning in. Where did you end up going? I think we need I'm to I'm over by up. Miles. Uh, I'm still by the roller coaster. I love feeling the craziness when it comes down to the lackey spawns. They haven't done too much. But that's only because I haven't seen them as much because of the other cameras in the way. Possibly that's the reason. But I'm unsure. I don't feel like it's too much pressure as it seems like. This the, I'm this also closing. trying to look and see if we've seems kind of easy. To talk like, about seems very easy. On the, uh, on the list. Um, kind of big... Because with seven players and three clowns, if you're able to delay the other players and use those other extracts or get a guaranteed extract that opens for everybody else, it could be kind of good. Like I wonder if the portal machine can be opened for a long, for a long time where all players can use it. Is a way to get seven players escaped out of one extract that is in the last in-game extract? Is that a possibility? If so, it might be kind of easy. I don't know. Kind of piece together with combat. Just thinking like about you it. You can see the melee stuff for the humans they can pick up bats and, and there's kind of like a, a wide range of long versus short things but then there's also blunt versus sharp which kind of do different things around the the around of stuns and uh and, and damage amount uh blunt is for stunning for a prolonged time the sharp uh, weapons are meant to actually do more harm or kill that's what it seems like it's gonna be but if it changes an objective as well that'd be kind of interesting but right now for against clowns and defending yourself, that's what it seems like. Let's hear that stupid pizza box. Somewhere. If I am just broken, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing. I hate the sound of that thing. That thing, that boyo yoing sound gives me nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> this portal's um, got one one more spark plug left. Oh, that's what I've got. Oh. That's what I've got. Let's get out of here. As He's just been holding it the whole time. You. I see. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I got So how can you tell if someone has it? Is it is it actually above the head? I saw the indicator before, one, but I didn't see it now. Spark plug left. No, I don't see it right now, no, but there's an indicator got. that was up before when you towards the actual extract. It right. comes up. Defend you. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I got shot by a popcorn. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I'm being tracked a little bit. Uh, so if the killer clowns who are actually focusing on this, they can actually find this plane no matter what. Um, uh, it's kind of be kind of hard to see from a distance, but up close, very easy. About, uh combat stuff we we the the throwing is a big part of of getting really good at this game uh if what, you want to be a objects? human throwing objects yeah it's any like any object no no not throwing the game specifically no it's the, <laughs> it's the object okay any pick up yeah, you can throw and it's it's added a really i saw that as well that gives you oh crap oh the wait the bridge is open yep i'm just going for it so that's okay. free as hell Oh, there's only so many humans that can fit, dude. It's breaking. Wait, how many? It's how breaking. many? Oh, 
<laughs> I just got across the oh, okay. You just, just left me out casually. You just left me with all these crazy. How many escape tools? That's just one or two. <laughs> oh my god. I think three escaped. If I'm nice. mistaken. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm out of uh, well. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So the bridge that breaks. That sandbar regains very slowly. There's so nice. many people. So there's a couple. I don't of mind that. I, we kind of it means the plays you make have to matter. But if you're not playing successfully, you just get outnumbered in court. Bad luck. Labeled them condemned gate exits because. You have to bash down a barrier and then you unlock with a key that you find uh, because it's a condemned exit and you can only cross so many times. So clowns can also walk on these things and reduce their uh, integrity, which will then make them collapse. Whether Oh, that's so cool. You're telling me now I can be more devious with my uh, killer gameplay and use that to stop extractions from occurring. Imagine sending your whole crew there to stop the bridge extract from ever being there. You can just make it completely gone and eradicate it, and then go to the next uh, extracts to take care of three. It means there's three killer clowns taking three exits. And it's so much easier to control. The yes, they can fly back, and then you call your reinforcers to help out that same instance, but creates that dynamic. But for hu human gameplay, you have to make sure that maybe that door isn't open, because it did mention there's a key. Once you open that key door, then you get to that bridge, which I think the clowns can actually access at that point. Tunnel or a bridge, so... There's definitely a each each escape has their different nuance. Uh, the portal one, which Albert, I just finished. If you want to boot up, okay. uh, you can. So Albert can actually use the portal now by himself. What the portal does is you open it up by holding the long interact and not failing. Oh shit! Like, oh, oh, the clown's, the clown's jumping. Amateur. <laughs> oh my! I guess I'll play hand of fate and help you in the meantime. Just but uh, you hold the portal open. You can hold it open as long as you want. It only allows three people out of it, but. You can hold it open and then let go, and then it starts to collapse. As it's collapsing, you can then jump in as the oh, okay. actor. So you I can, get it. it. It gives that last little moment that you can uh, kind of... It gives the moment to feel like you clutched it. Like you save your two you're teammates by holding it, pretty, and then you jump in the last second to actually escape. Well, the three ex exit you, uh, there, three exit on bridge. The mini game That's already six harshly, plays it could be out. So I don't know if I'm help you. And then boat, it's two. Do you have an energy drink? I have a popsicle. That's better than nothing. Having the pop school actually oh, gives you a stand boost. So you can actually move faster or move for longer. Oh! Oh, she's dead. He's no, absolutely dead. Oh, Albert. It's over for me. Albert. There's no chance there. Oh! Oh, he missed! He whiffed it. Wait, what? No, one second. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, one missed. second for what? Oh, one second he would have got back up. So they actually don't oh, actually kill you. It's over you get picked, uh, you get picked up from Albert. this downstate oh. automatically. Oh, he missed! He whiffed it. No, one second. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> That's kinda cool. <laughs> As you can see, oh, look at that sweet ragdoll. Look at that sweet ragdoll. Yes, so a big thing that, uh, nice. that we haven't really showed off too much um, that we've been working on is proximity chat. That is- Oh, that thank is, God. I did say this. That is- I uh, said this needs to be in the game. A big part of this type of experience. You wanna be able to- Texas Chainsaw Massacre through in this aspect of not having VoIP in the game. We made the game drastically better. They can still add it. It could keep those fun moments occurring. But from the start of the game, having VoIP in the actual gameplay experience is always a blessing. Have those interactions. Toxic moments, funny moments, anything match, can happen. And I love it. Encountering and running into a human that you haven't discovered yet, or uh, an enemy is by and they can hear you talking too. It's it's such a crucial portion of this, and and we we wanted to make sure that was that was here and and ready to go for for people that were playing. So that's. That's cool. I think that's pretty much it for the Kill Clowns gameplay for the human side of things. I do like it. I think there may be a lot of negative impacts towards gameplay at the very start from both clowns and humans when you're in the game. Say day one, it won't be as bad if you're there all day one. But if you come in as a day one player, but three weeks after, when everyone else has three weeks worth of advantages, I don't know how that's going to work because there's perks and abilities. They didn't talk about too much about that aspect and how you unlock them and gain them. But I'm guessing those things can be unlocked through leveling up and that will make the gameplay experience drastically easier or better or worse for some players depending on their builds but allows for things to occur and more moments and fun engages between the clowns and humans at any point so i really like that and the sense of confrontation that can happen in the gameplay but that was the human gameplay in killer clowns tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below and as always it's been a pleasure and i'll catch you mates next time Bye bye